Number 76. Write the Lewis structures of the reactants and the product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay, and then we have this reaction right here. So we have BOH3 plus OH minus gives us BOH4 minus. Cool. Now, drawing Lewis structures, this is going to be a review. There is a whole chapter uh, that we learned, I think, probably in Chem 1 that's on this channel. Uh, in, in ways that we've done tons of Lewis structures and we go in depth how to, you know, find out the correct Lewis structure. So this one will kind of be like a review. The only thing new here is just identifying the Lewis acid and the base, but that always comes from the Lewis structure. I wrote down here just how many valence electrons each of the elements in this problem has. So I'm going to be just working off of that. So let's start with BOH3. It seems like I have, you know, uh, three OHs surrounded by a boron. So I'm going to say B. And if we want to write the complete uh, Lewis structure, I will separate out the O and the H. So here is one OH that's going to be bound with the boron. Here is another OH that's going to be bound with the boron. And then here's another OH that's bound to the boron. Cool. Let's add in those dots. Boron has three valence electrons. Each oxygen has six. And remember, these are all based off of uh, the groups on the periodic table. Okay. And then after I do this last oxygen, hydrogen always has just one valence electron. And now everybody gets at least a single bond between dot to dot. And then we check for the octet rule. So these two will bind, these two will bind, these two will bind, and these will bind. And in this case, everyone's good. Keep in mind that boron, as a neutral compound, likes to only have six total electrons or three bonds. So that's one of the exceptions. So I have this huge compound. That's the BOH3. Plus, now I have to do OH-. minus. So in this case, I just have an oxygen and a hydrogen, right? Let's do the balance. So oxygen has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hydrogen has one. And now this negative charge just means that you gained one electron in your drawing. Chances more than not, you're always going to put that one electron, the one dot on the more electronegative element. So I'm just going to put it right here. Let's make that one single bond, and it seems like we are good to go. We have the octet on oxygen, and hydrogen only has the one, the one bond. Now, we can just close this bracket off and put a negative here to show the negative charge, but more specifically, for the purposes of this video and showing you which one is a Lewis acid and Lewis base, I would actually put the negative charge on the actual atom that has the negative. This comes back from the formal charge. So that's also a refresher. But if you did your formal charge, you would see that this oxygen had the negative. So I'm just going to put it next to the oxygen. Okay. So now, last one. Now I have the boron surrounded by four OHs. So it's basically going to be this. So maybe if I can just copy this, because this is the boron with the three oxygens the three OHs, and now I just have to add one more. So maybe I will just, let's see, beautiful. Oop, there goes that hydrogen. Okay, now let's just add that one more OH. I got room up here. So I'm just gonna say that we had an O and an H. The hydrogen had the one electron, one valence electron. Oxygen has six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now this compound also has a negative charge. So that also means that this compound also gained one electron. More chances than not, put it on the most electronegative element. So in this case, this will have a double pair. Let's bond it up. Boop. But now, 
there's no extra electron here to bind with the oxygen. And this is a beautiful example. Do you see how this is literally this, right? It's got the three lone pairs and the hydrogen, the three lone pairs and the hydrogen. This oxygen was negative. Well, this is the idea of a Lewis base. If you are going to donate your entire electron pair, and that's essentially what this oxygen is doing. It's donating this whole entire pair. This whole entire pair is now going to get thrown with boron so that they can share it. And these two electrons aren't going to be two dots anymore. They're going to be a single line. So those two electrons are that bond. And when that happens, the show of electrons is always from those electron pairs to the actual element. So in this case, you are throwing those electron pairs and attaching them to the boron. And since nothing else changed, you don't have to change anything else. And just know that the negative charge on the boron, the BOH4, if we actually did the formal charges for everyone, the boron actually now has the negative charge. But we now just identified who was the Lewis base. It's the one that donated those electrons. And just know that the Lewis acid and the Lewis base are always going to be on the reactant side. So the OH minus, and I do see that it's negative. Usually if you see a negative charge, that's going to be your base, the Lewis base. So this is your Lewis base. And this guy is your Lewis acid. And that's it. I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you all in later lessons. All right, keep studying hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.